Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at the Disney Float, which is a 4 plus set and it is set number 43212. Now as normal we'll get the box open and have a look at all the instruction manuals. I had cheated ever so slightly, I've actually already built the thing so I know how good this actually is. But on the inside of this it's something slightly different because it is a 4 plus set. They keep the instructions really really simple and there are 5 different instruction booklets for each individual thing and the station. And also we've got the box artwork to have a look at first. So starting with the box artwork, this is Lego set number 43212, it is a 4 plus set, which means there are no stickers, so everything you're looking at now, they are all prints, and you can see just how nice the minifigures are in this set, so we're going to have a very, very good look at those. If it is on the shelf side on, that is what you're going to be looking at with regards to it being that side. If it's upside down or at the top, that is a nice minifigure that we will be taking a look at in much greater detail, and that is the back and the bottom, so hopefully it will never be shown that way. Now there's quite a lot to have a look at on the back as well, so you can see, again, it's got the number of 43212 coming across the top better look at all the minifigures and then all the different accessories that are hidden within the floats there's a lot going on with this with regards to all the balloons the cakes the crabs and everything like that and as we come round and down you can see just the size of the station and then all of the floats themselves and again to the sheriff and everything else that we're having a quick look at now they are not stickers that all of those things are prints so very very nice set and i think it is good value some of the star wars stuff i think has been overpriced but i think they do look smart now moving on to the instruction booklet quickly it comes with this in one of these smaller things but then there are five of these you can see that's booklet number five four three obviously two and one so we'll start with number one just to see what is on the inside of it so if we go from the front page it's very very simple with regards to what you need so you can see that you have bag number one and then you need the actual base and then it tells you what you need for the minifigures on the left hand side and then how you put the minifigure together on the right hand side and then that's how it starts you need the balloon and so on and there is one other thing so you need the base plus a brick and then it just goes from there with regards to the bricks that you need and obviously you've got the little minifigure walking across the bottom as you progress through which i think is a really nice touch and then as we get to the back that is the first one down and you can see you've got the others that are ready to go on that side so if we just go to number two they have actually used which is again another nice touch that the many figures that are in each set they have actually used at the bottom on the instructions so you can see you've got that mini figure for that one does this split at the halfway mark no so you've got the same mini figure all the way through and then on the back you have got some information so you've got some of the disney princess sets on this one so going from left to right i'll shout them out you've got set number four three two one six and then the middle one is four three two one zero coming over to the purple one it's 43214 and then the castle to finish is set number 43211 and one so we'll have a quick look now then in set number bag number three four and five just to see if there's any other sets included so yes there is on this one so going back page you've got the rebuild the world coming through you've got the pink disney princess castle which is another four plus set and that is set number 43211 and you can see how they're doing the same sort of thing with you guys in the instruction booklet because that is the one in the middle so number four if we go right to the end there's nothing in that one but again you have got moana walking around at the bottom and then number five have they added in anything for the very very last bit let's have a quick look so this has all of the pieces and i would imagine this has got every single piece from every single set because i can see some of the minifigures on that one and some more minifigures on that one and then that is that so they've got a good split and again it's got the same minifigure at the bottom and just like that we are done so what we're going to do start with you get the train completely out of the way which looks absolutely amazing by the way you can see all the different minifigures and characters that are included and we're going to start off with this little station just here now this little thing includes a nice little cake and it's got a nice little cupcake at the top and obviously you can see the nice little flag and it's a cute little thing it can have that dotted around anywhere it's perfect for me I'm just going to add this into my actual theme park display so that's going to work really really well now the minifigure itself I think she looks absolutely fantastic so you can see Minnie Mouse she has her really really nice pink vibrant top on with her polka dot dress and you've got a nice little print up on the legs as well so we show off the boots you can see just there you've got the gold with the black and the white and then on the back as well with her skirt lifted up you can see that she's got a good split print on the back of her trousers and then again if you plop the skirt down she's got a nice little pink top on so it does look very very effective and obviously she's got the nice little bright yellow 
bow in the top and she's got a very very heavy balloon as well so moving on to mickey and the amazing trainer don't forget because this is a four plus set there are no stickers included i know i said this at least once in the video but all of these that we're having a look at now they are all print so it looks fantastic that's why you do pay a little bit extra for some of these sets but you don't have to worry about putting these stickers on and the wheels and everything they all run nice and smoothly and you can see the front of the train looks very very effective now again this set really is about the minifigures as well because they do look i think absolutely fantastic now bearing in mind they are holding the balloon so it's quite difficult to get them in the correct position but i think it looks really really nice with regards just to his bright yellow shirt and the tie that he's wearing and obviously you can see you've got real nice print on the arms and as we spin around onto the back with the nice lighting you can actually see all of the nice shine that is on the back of his torso and you've got the really nice deep blue belt buckle and the silver bit with the strap and then obviously you can see he's holding the really really heavy balloon so with these you've got to be careful because if you are just trying to put it onto a shelf and you don't get the hips bent properly they will just fall over so that's something to take into consideration but when they are on the bit that they need to be on they're not going to go anywhere so it'll be absolutely fine now moving him away and bringing in peter pan and tinkerbell so this is a really nice looking thing obviously it's from the peter pan so you can know why that's from i do need to get his minifigure that has already been released i think that would look really nice on this float as well he's one of the most expensive minifigures to get hold of as well i think i've seen him individually for almost 40 pounds which is slightly annoying so we will have to get on the hunt for that one but again all the detail on this you've got multiple colors you can see that you've got the gold with the lighter sort of tan then you've got the deep red with the grey and then what I really like on these floats and a few of them they actually do have the really really bright and vibrant blue so there's a lot going on with these they are very very sturdy you need two hands to clip these together and obviously unpull them as well but you can see there's a lot going on with these bearing in mind again it is a four plus they've got plenty of detail and then you've got the light and everything just at the front just on the inside now moving on to the two minifigures let's see if i can get these close enough just like so you have got starting with peter pan looks brilliant i think so you've got the really really nice print on his torso so with peter pan like all of the other disney characters in this set they only have the single face so i don't have to take off all the head pieces on this one they are all the same so who i actually think is the villain in the actual film not the hero i think hook's the actual hero in this but that's up for your own debate i think he has a really nice print so you can see again on his shoulder into his arm i think all these minifigures have jewel everything i think i think they're all wearing boots it's a very impressive minifigure lineup but you can see again for his back you've got the two types of green so you've got the green up at the top and then you've got the nice brown but you haven't got much going on with the legs on this one so i think this is one of the only figures actually that does not have any print on but if we go compare him to say tinkerpel for example you can see that she has got lots going on so you can see with regards to the shins that are on show and then you've got everything up at the top with her toes obviously she isn't in the correct proportion she should be a little bit shorter but she does look i think absolutely brilliant again whole holding nice heavy balloons which would work perfectly for me when i get the up house because i'm going to use the up house as my balloon shop as such so having this in the background i think would work very very well especially as all of these are holding balloons and don't forget it is on a float as well so it's not really taken from the film I think that looks very, very effective with regards just to the translucent blue just on the back. So I think that looks very, very nice. So if I can get a propped up, get my hand out of the way, just like so, I think that looks really, really smart. So you can see just how that's looking through on Peter Pan's arm. I think it is very, very clean looking minifigure on this one. And again, as we go through, let us know in the comments below what your favourite minifigures are and also what your favourite float is as well. Because there is a lot going on within this set so what we'll do is we'll throw him in there get that one out of the way and then we'll move on to the next one now i think this might be a lot of people's favorite character which is woody now he has a fantastic print and there's bits and pieces going on on this float because this one will spin around now on the front there is a little piece in there where he has his spare badge and you've got the nice cactus just on the top and also you can see again it's not a sticker a very very big print for the sheriff and then on the back there's not much going on so you don't have to worry about displaying it that way but with regards to this minifigure i think this looks incredible so obviously all of these they're basically cmf standard aren't they they're meant to go with the more expensive sets they're meant to go with the other characters that you can buy because there has been a buzz from series one which would be perfect with this minifigure so 
the more I speak about them, the more I really do need to backtrack all of these. But this is what I meant about with regards to the jaw prints. You can see the bottom and the top, you've got the really nice blue with the really, really nice brown. But there is so much going on across the back here with regards to his belt. So you can see you've got the blue with the grey, with the grey, the blue with the brown. And then above it, you have got the grey, the yellow and the red. And then also you've got the cow type print on the back with the sort of hook. So there's a lot going on with regards to that. So there's... Lots and lots, and then you've got the really, really bright yellow with the skin tone for his hands, and then as we spin round, you do have the nice face print as well. Now, if we can get the guitar just out of the way like so, that looks amazing on the front, so you can see just everything that's going on just in there. Nice detail on everything that's going on. So on the front, I think it's coming through lovely and clear, we have got the nice shiny belt buckle and then you've got the sheriff's badge. But if you look carefully, you've also got the red bit just up at the top between the collar and the yellow. And the badge, I do believe, if I get his arm out of the way, is also nice and shiny as well. So you can see he has a jewel hat and hairpiece like a lot of them do. And that's just nice and simple just to plock on. And then again, moving on to the guitar, nice and simple, just clips into any of the minifigures if you want to chop and change on those. Moving on to the last one before we clip it all together. So we have this one. So this is a nice looking thing. So get her out the way to start with. Quite a bit going on with this. So you have got the crab, so you can lift that up if you want to. So it's easy enough to put the different bits and pieces in if required. And obviously that then just shuts. And then you spin it around. And then you've got this nice little box on the back, which will have something special on the inside. Plonk that up. And then what do you have on there? Just a bit of green translucent. Again, I keep stressing this. It is a four plus set. And they have gone into all of this detail. So do you think that your four year old would be all right with this? And do you think yourself you'll be all right with this? I'm going to give up trying to put that on the back. But you can add on other bits and pieces on top if you wanted to. So obviously if you have more elements on this, you can get away with doing some really nice bits and pieces with it. Now moving on to the minifigure. Again, there is a lot going on with her. So get that out the way. Starting at the front, if we start from bottom to top, so you can see where she's sort of barefoot and then she goes into her knee piece. Going up from that, there is a lot of print and pattern going on with this. And then on her top right, you can see that she's got the bit going down from her top and then all the way across, it then got a wavy bit of yellow and white. And hopefully, again, it's showing up, but they have actually added in like a sunflower all the way across the top of her thighs, which looks really, really effective. And then coming through and down, you've got the red bit on the strap. Coming up into her sort of crop top, you've got the nice bribant pink with the dark red. And then you've got the bit going across the top. And then you've got the necklace. Now, the necklace itself is also very, very shiny and very, very nice. And I think she's got a really nice print on her face as well. And if we spin her round onto the back, you can see on the back of the crop top, the torso print carries on. And then you've got a better understanding of what the leg and the ankles look like on the back. And then you've just got the skin tone on either arm. So that is the set all clipped back together. And you can see just the length this thing has so if you were to go all the way around and over it would just completely cover as a horseshoe it goes box to box so i think that does look very very smart and then don't forget you've got the station just at the back so if i pull the station from back to front just again just to give you a bit of perspective of just how big this thing actually is and then we can spin that round the other way it is a big long set but you can no matter what you want to do, stagger it around. So it won't take up too much shelf space if you don't want it to. So obviously you can be very, very clever within. But guys, I think that is it. I am done. So in the comments below, let us know what you think. Obviously, let me know what your favourite minifigure is. Do you have any of these other Disney sets? And also, do you have any of these minifigures in your collection whatsoever? And if you've been sat on the fence with this, bearing in mind this is currently in sale in the UK shops. It's about £8 cheaper than what you can get on the LEGO website currently. I highly recommend it if you are into collecting your minifigures. But guys, if you can like this video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be absolutely fantastic. But as always, thank you very much for watching. You lot take care and I'll catch the next one. Ta-da.